Hello everyone, welcome all of you. So in this video, we are going to see how we can integrate GitHub with the IntelliJ IDEA. So we are going to set up the GitHub account into IntelliJ itself so that we can clone any GitHub repository and we can perform pull and push operations to the GitHub from the IntelliJ itself. So let's go step wise. Let's say you don't have account on the GitHub. So you need to sign up first on the GitHub. Okay, so just use this website for sign up purpose. So sign up process is very straightforward. Just go to this website and enter your email address set your password and that's it so once you sign in into the github you can create any number of public and private repository using that account so let me sign in into github with my account so on my github account i have already created many repositories over here okay you can see the list here so if you are a new you can go to here create new and create a new repository so you can create a public or private repository and in that repository you can keep any project files Okay, so once you integrate GitHub with the IntelliJ, you will be able to see all the list of repositories from GitHub into IntelliJ itself. So all these repository list I can see in the IntelliJ and I can clone any of this repository in the IntelliJ itself. So second step is you need to install the IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition on your local machine. So this is the website, just go to this website. So here you will find the IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate and Community Edition. So just download the .exe file for this community edition which is free to use. So just download it and just uh, follow the process for installation. So next thing that we need is git on our local machine. Okay, even though you created the github account and repositories, you required a local git repository. So for that purpose, you required git on your local machine so that you can use the different git command for cloning or pull or push code from local to the github repository. So for the windows, this is the latest release. So just download for windows and install it on your local machine. So I have already installed it. So I can check the git version using git hyphen v. So this is the version I have installed on my local machine windows laptop. So now we can add the github account into the IntelliJ. So let me open the IntelliJ first. So I have already all these projects already open in my IntelliJ. So that's why you are able to see this list. Okay, in your case, you will not see any projects here. So we need to clone our one of the GitHub repository first. Okay, so for that purpose, we need to integrate GitHub with IntelliJ. So what you can do is just click on get from VCS. So here you will find this GitHub account. Click on that. So currently there is no account added over here. So we need to add the account. So for that purpose, you can use login via GitHub or you can use the token. So these two options you have to add the GitHub account into the IntelliJ. So let's use the first one login via github. So once you click on that it will redirect you on this page. Please continue only if this page is open from the JetBrains ID. Okay that's it. So click on authorize on github. So once authorization is successful you will see this message you have been successfully authorized in github. Okay you can close this page now. So if you go back to the IntelliJ. So here you will see all the list of repositories already available on my github account. So whatever repositories are there in this github i can see that list in my intellij now so now you can clone any of this uh, github project into your intellij so let's try to clone uh, maven parallel test and as per a requirement you can clone that project on your local machine on specific drive okay specific folder as per your requirement so let's clone that project into this folder intellij projects click on ok and click on clone so you can see here cloning the repository so you can open it as eclipse project or maven project so i will select maven project and click on ok so it will load the project in your intellij now so this is the latest intellij idea ui i am showing you okay so don't get confused so as we have cloned this project from the github after the integration of the intellij it should have created uh, a local git repository on your local machine at this project location so let's verify that so I am at this project location, you can see this .git folder, so this is the local git repository. So now we can pull and push code to the GitHub from the IntelliJ itself. Okay, so you don't need to authenticate again every time when you are going to push the code or you are going to pull the changes. So on the bottom left side, you can see this git, click on that. So here you will find the local branch is master and remote branch is also master. So let's try to pull the changes from github into IntelliJ itself. So I will go to the github and open the project. So let's make some changes in the file. 
so i have just added one comment okay so this file will be updated so just click on commit changes this is my commit message and click on commit changes so this changes will be directly committed into the master branch so now we want these changes into our local git repository that means into IntelliJ itself so we need to pull the changes first so you can uh, right click on the project and go to this git section so from here you can fetch the changes or pull the changes okay so i will click on fetch so it will first fetch the changes and it will be available into the master branch so i need to merge those changes into my local master git repository so if you mouse over on this it is showing there are incoming commits so i need to merge those changes into my local master branch so i will select it and i can click on this update selected okay so let's open the source java source file now so you can see the changes from the github are available in our intellij now okay so you can directly update this project using this option or if you face the changes directly go to the git and select this option merge so here you just need to select what branch you want to merge into the master local master branch okay so select that branch and click on merge okay see so it is already merged so click on cancel similarly we can do any changes code changes from here uh, in the IntelliJ and we can push those changes to the github so let's say i added this change and i will save it so from the left hand side click on this commit so from here you will see uh, what files got changed so this is the file that we have changed so select that checkbox that i want to commit it here you can add the commit message okay so this is the changes i want to push to my github repository so i don't want to push this unversioned files okay it is not necessary for me so i will just select this checkbox added commit message and click on commit and push so there are some warnings so anyway i want to push it so commit anyway and push so it is going to push this changes from the test case one dot java file into our master branch available in our github account so click on push so it is pushing now okay so pushed one commit to the origin master so let's verify that into our github refresh the web page so these changes from the IntelliJ are available in our github account as well so now let's see how we can use this token option to add github account into IntelliJ so from the IntelliJ first let me remove the github account so I will go to the settings click on version control and from here I can so let me remove this account that we have just added with the login via github option so click on minus remove it click on apply and click on ok so let me first close the project so i will go here file and close project okay so again click on get from vcs so currently again there is no account so i will click on use token so here we need to add the token that we create in the github account okay so let's go back to the github uh, first we need to create the token so you can go to the profile go to settings then scroll down here you will find this developer settings click on that click on personal access tokens click on token classic so click on generate new token classic so you can provide here some note so let's say token for IntelliJ so you can set the expiration date up to which this token is valid for use after that it will be invalid then you can uh, select the scope so if you go to the IntelliJ you required this repo read org workflow so this four we need to select so we have selected this one workflow you required this one we require and this is the read org okay so scroll down and click on generate token so you just need to add this token value into intellij so copy that go to intellij and add it here click on login so you have uh, successfully added your github account with the help of token as well in the intellij so you can clone any of this project from the github into intellij and you can perform pull and push operation in the same way that we have already seen 
so i hope uh, this session will help you in the real time projects as well so let me know if you face any issue in this thank you